MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A Memorial Day get-together for you here at the ballpark between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Atlanta Braves. Digging in, Colton Wong. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Now the 2 1 pitch is swung on and missed for strike number two. And we should see some 90s as we go forward. 88 degrees, our game time temperature. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Tommy Edmund. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Fouled off. The 2 2 is looked at and the count moves full on deck the powerful right handed bat of Paul Goldschmidt fouled away the next three two and he lays off here ball four and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away and that brings up Paul Goldschmidt here comes the payoff pitch and he misses again ball four and that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball the third base so two men are on with one man out and that brings up Matt Carpenter and it's fouled away The one two. Whoa, that's up there. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Two men on, two out, and here now is the catcher, Yadier Molina. Yadier Molina. Popped him up. Culberson moving to his left and that's the third out at the plate Ozzy Albies he lead things off here in the bottom half of the first Here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Now a swing and a miss at the hard sinker and they're back to even two and two. Here's the pitch. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Albies is retired, and there's one away. Nick Marcakis digging in now, hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. And Marcakis lays off here. It's two and one. Now a swing and a ground ball for Wong at second. To first, and Marcakis is retired two away. The next to bat for Atlanta, Freddie Freeman. First Freddie. cuts for him here with the bases Freeman. open and two away. Now a ball lined to the left side, but this will be a foul ball. The one two. Hard hit ball to second, but right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. Riding into the box, Tyler O'Neill. The 1 1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Well, he kind of struggled through that first inning, but ended up getting out of it. Now, here in the second, you know he'd love to get this leadoff guy and get off on the right foot and maybe settle into this game a bit. Full count now, three and two. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. 
not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. The fielder, number 35, Lane Thomas. 3-2 pitch. A line shot to third base. But the runner is back to avoid the double play. The next to bat for St. Louis, Harrison Bader. His prior history versus this arm. He's hitless in three at bats. 1 1. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Ball. Misses. Ball two. Still looking for our first hit in the ballgame. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Got to believe that runner from first is going to be in motion, especially in this situation. As an offensive player, just hit something hard because those defenders are going to be moving. And a fastball swung on and missed as he that just reared back there, the two away. Number 43. The 1-1 one, one home is strike two swinging. O'Neill, the runner at first with two gone. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The one two. Now a move over to first, and the runner back in standing. him up flowers over to his right and that ends the inning last half of the second set to go stepping in for the Braves Ronald Acuna and he comes in as a player to watch out for hitting well over 300 on the season hit high and deep to right center back goes Thomas he's there and records the first down here's Marcelo Zuna can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two Got him to reach for it there as this is grounded to short. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone. And next to bat will be the catcher, Tyler Flowers. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Thomas will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Top of the third set to get underway. Stepping up now, Colton Wong. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. This is skied into short left center. Coming on is Ozuna, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Coming to the plate now, Tommy Edmond he drew a base on balls his first time up. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Three balls and a strike to the Cardinal shortstop. Part of the order on deck, so keeping this two-hole hitter off the bags is always important. And that's the first hit in this one for the Redbirds. So now to the plate, Paul Goldschmidt. And that's taken for a cold strike two. And that's going to be high two and two now. 
He's up in the zone a lot right now. Sometimes that can be effective, but I think you have to be careful with that, especially during a day game where the ball tends to... And hold on there. That's not going to get him in there with the stolen base. The 3 2 pitch. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Man at second here with two away. And that'll bring up the sweet swinging Matt Carpenter. And an off speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. Standing in, Charlie Culberson. The average on the season sits right at 290 to begin the day. Look into Molina, now the 1 1. A ball and two strikes now. And he lays off it to even the count, two and two. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. Curveball got him swinging for the first out. Stepping into the box, Austin Riley. He'll be trying to duplicate his performance from yesterday when he finished with a four for five line at the plate. Got him reaching there, strike two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. So he sets him down swinging. Austin no Riley becomes the second no. out in the bottom of the third. Looked like the sinker there dipped a little below the knees. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. And that's the first hit in this one for the Braves. The bat. Stepping in now, Ozzy Albies. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Made him look silly with that one. Just hung in there on that one. Another one-two delivery. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Yachty Molina digging in now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't get an out on the play. The left fielder, Tyler. Standing in now, Tyler O'Neill. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. Stepping up to the plate, Lane Thomas. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. The count now at two and two. Ball grounded to short. This could be two. Over to Albies. On to first, and they get the double play. So a man at third here with two gone. And into bat next, one of the fastest players in all of baseball, Harrison Bader. The 1-1. One -one. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. A little early and now it's even at two and two. Here's the two and two. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. That's down low. It's ball four. And they're at the corners now with two away. Now so in now is the Cardinals three. pitcher Dakota Hudson two men on two away here in the fourth now a throw over and the runner back easily no runs two hits and no errors so far for the Redbirds 
And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Full count now, three and two. And another foul ball. Swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. He's set the 3 2. Hit on the ground out to short. On to first, and the Redbird rally goes for naught as that ends the inning. Standing in, Nick Markakis. This is line to left. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. The first baseman, number five, Freddie. Into the box, Freddie Freeman hit hard to short. And a backhanded try into the hole that's short, but this gets on by. The center fielder, number 15. At the plate, Ronald Acuna. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. And that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. The 2-2. Two -two. Sinker, 3-2 and two now. Curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. The 3 2, one more time. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. Here now with the catcher, Tyler Flowers. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. 1-1. One, one. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. The 2-2. Two, two. Hard hit toward the hole. And that is through into left field, a base hit. And that'll plate their second run of the game as they take a 2 0 lead. Now battle. Not your stop. Charlie Culberson. Into the box now, Charlie Culberson. Three balls and a strike to the Atlanta shortstop. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Now Ready now, the Austin Riley. Season. He's 0 for oh, 1 thus far. Riley. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Still two and two. And they're working.
in the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Austin Riley is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Mm, would have been a grand slam. Instead, it's a foul ball. The one two is laid off for ball two. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. High fly ball after straightaway center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And the run will cross on the sack fly and make it a 4-0 game. So up steps Ozzie Albies. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. And they'll tack on one more as this is now a 5-0 game. Adam Wainwright answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. To the plate now, Nick Markakis. Line toward the alley and left center. And that's in there. Base hit. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. And now, Freddie Freeman gets softly on the ground to first. Reined in. Goldschmidt will take this to the bag himself, and with that, the inning comes to a close. Felix Hernandez enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 34, Felix. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. That's lifted the other way out to left. Ozuna is under it. One out. Digging in and looking for more. Tommy Edmond. He singled his last time up. The 2-1. Hit hard down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. Weak rounder back to the mound. On to Freeman at first. And there are two away now. Now with the play, Paul Goldschmidt. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. So 1-1. One, one. Hard on the ground towards short. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. So here's the cleanup hitter, Ronald Acuna. Bouncer to the left side. Carpenter with the bare hand play. Hats off to that one. So striding forward now, Marcelo Zuna. Bases are empty, one man out. Popped him up. Molina waits on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Two gone now in the okay, Atlanta right, half right. of the fifth. And okay. next to bat will be the catcher, Tyler, Tyler Flowers. Flower. Now the 2-1. Hit back up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Digging in now will be Matt Carpenter. He'll be the first to greet Felix Hernandez to start the inning. I think he's forgotten about sometimes Matt Carpenter when we talk about the best hitters in our sport. 
I think he's one of the more underrated offensive players. But this will be speared at third, and that was self-defense all the way. One gone. Yadier. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina. A hit in two tries for him so far. I mean, Yadi, when he first broke on the scene, was a defender first and foremost. You can't say that anymore. I mean, he's evolved into a really, really nice offensive player. Digging in, Tyler O'Neill. He's been hit by a pitch and walked in the game thus far. A swing and a miss there, two and two. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Riding in, Charlie Culberson. He'll get things started here in the second half of the sixth. And he lays off the curveball. Strike three called, and that's going to be out number one. Now batting. Now to the plate, Austin Riley. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. But Danny Echevarria is into the on-deck circle as it appears he will bat for Felix Hernandez here. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Two away. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Stepping in, Ozzie Albies. It was an RBI single for him in his last plate appearance to two and two now did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate and he'll have another shot at it here here now the two two hit on the ground out to short and the throw to Wong and the inning is over. A.J. Minter is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 33. Now at the plate, Lane Thomas. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Two and one to count. Here's the pitch. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. And he fouls this one off. Another try at 2 2. Good opposite field power here, taken high and deep to right. Back goes Markakis. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The right Stepping into the box, Harrison Bader. Harrison Bader. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Pitch on the way. No runs, two hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Well hit to right, but that's a foul ball. Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Jairo Munoz is out of the dugout now as it looks like he'll come on and hit for the pitcher, Wainwright. Jairo Munoz.
lifted in the air out to right. On the move is Markakis. He dives, but he can't get it. Bader rounds the corner and is headed home. Safe at the plate. And they're on the board. It's six to one. Now back. Second base. Colton Wong. At the plate now. Colton Wong. Nope. That's the ball. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. Popped him up. Albies backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Settling in now, Tommy Edmond. He was a ground out victim last time up. Tommy Edmond. Now the one and one pitch. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Ready with two balls and a strike. Oh, that's off the plate. Paul Goldschmidt would be next if they can keep this inning alive. The three and one pitch. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Drilled to the right side. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. Luke Jackson will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Your attention, please. Now, pitching for the play. Number 27. Luke. So now to the plate, Paul Goldschmidt. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Acuna's there for it. And that ends the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Henesis Cabrera gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder. He's two for three and looking for more here. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a liner. And a base hit. So early trouble to lead off the inning. Now back, first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Into the box, Freddie Freeman. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Into right field, that's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The center fielder, number 13, Ronald Acuna Jr. Stepping in now, Ronald Acuna. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. He's set. Here's the three and two. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Thomas has it for route number one. At the plate, Marcelo Zuna. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. From the belt, kicks and deals. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field, a base hit. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. Now batting, catcher, Tyler Flowers. Into the box now, Tyler Flowers. And that misses, ball four. A run will come in to score. John Gant was called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. Charlie Culberson will be the first to meet him here, and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed. Bases loaded and only one out now. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. That's in there. Base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. It's an 8-2 game. Now 
batted. Third baseman, Austin Riley. In now, Austin Riley. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. And he tries to get to the backhand, but it gets on by. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Dansby Swanson will get the nod from his skipper to pinch hit, and he'll do so in a big spot. Base is loaded, only one away. Pulls this one in the air out to left. O'Neill waits on it. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. Ah, but the throw is well up the line, and he scores easily. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzy Albies. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Here it comes on one and one. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here. Three and one. Well, two on, two outs, and he's got himself in a great hitter's count. He just has to be careful not to get too aggressive. A walk would be good here, too. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Shane Green has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 19. Shane. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's Matt Carpenter. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series and maybe even the whole week ahead. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. One out, nobody on. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. But this will land untouched. The one two. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And this is taken in for the second out. Now batting. Digging in now, Tyler O'Neill. He was Tyler. retired via the ground ball last time up. Now the one and one pitch is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Green, playing here in his age 31 season, he was selected in the 15th round back in the 2009 MLB draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. This is lifted out to left. Ozuna is under it. And that ends the inning. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. A couple of singles for him in four trips for him this afternoon. Here now the 2-2. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. Now another 2-2. Fouled off. 
the 2 2 one more time. Uh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Now one away for the Braves here in inning number eight. And that'll bring up the always dangerous Ronald Acuna Jr. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. And obviously this guy's a double threat up there. He can run and he can go yard too. You don't want to walk him because he might steal a base on you. But you don't want to groove a fastball either because he could take you out of the yard. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Ronald Acuna goes down for out number two in the bottom half. Hops this one up. Goldschmidt ranging into the outfield. He gets there to make the catch and that ends the inning. Stepping in, Lane Thomas. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. 1 1. Misses, ball 2. A little too tall that time. 3 and 1 now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four. And they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. So digging in now, Harrison Bader. One for two in the ball game thus far. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches. Attack the strike zone early. A lot of deep counts and working himself into a lot of trouble. Chopper down the third baseline. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Hit out towards second. Albies picks it up. One there on the first. And that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. Paul DeYoung will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 11. Paul DeYoung. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. And he missed again. High and away this time. Three and one. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And he lays off. Ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Here's Colton Wong now. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw to first will be in time to get him. And the Braves have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. And if you're looking for when this game was decided, that's pretty easy. It was the big fourth inning. That was the big turning point, and they made it stand up the rest of the way. 10 to 2, the final in this game. The Braves put a 10 spot on the scoreboard in this one. Felix Hernandez gets the win in relief, his sixth of the season. Dakota Hudson struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vasquez. And we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Atlanta Braves. Ten runs on 11 hits. One error. They left seven men on base. For St. Louis, two runs on five hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 22 minutes. Our paid attendance at Truist Park this afternoon, 41,500. The Braves thank you for your continued support and remind you to please drive home 